Hello boys and girls, I'm D.B. Morton, 1949, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, and doing great. Today's video is about setup. And I'm having a lot of problems, well not a lot of problems, but I'm having problems setting everything up for the first time here. Um, seem to have my light situation okay. I can record videos, obviously. Uh, I can record videos, but the problem that I'm having is trying to go to record my screen. Now, I have OBS, and I just installed it, and I'm trying to figure that one out. Uh, I guess I'll just have to watch it a couple of times to, to see how to do it. But the problem that I was having is the software, well, First of all, I'm using a Mac, Mac Mini with the M1 chip. I also have MS-DOS that I've had. I've used Windows for like 30 years, but I'm in the process of switching over to Apple to the M1 chip, which is uh, a lot more powerful than what I was using before. I was using an old i5 from about six years ago or seven years ago. So I'm getting a bump in performance especially when I use my NLE and the one that I'm using is um, DaVinci Resolve Studio. I had the, uh, the free version for quite a while and I said, well, if I'm going to do some stuff, I really want to go ahead and uh, get the studio version because it has noise reduction. And uh, some videos that I take, uh, especially outside, um, depending on what settings that I use, the noise reduction comes in handy. So that's why I went to the studio. So I'm learning how to use uh, DaVinci Resolve 17.3 Studio. But the problem that I'm having is something simple like Zoom. I'm trying to set up Zoom. I have a Canon and a Fuji. I have a Canon RP and I have a Fuji SX10. Well, the problem that I'm having is with the software on Zoom, the software will recognize the Fuji XS10, but for some reason I go to plug the thing in and I can't get any view on my screen. Now I've done research on it and pow to tech is a YouTube channel that I follow that uh, does videos on uh, Fuji cameras. And he says you have to plug the HDMI out of the camera into an Elgato capture card. And then out of the capture card, then it would be a USB into your camera. Well, I don't think you have to do that. Maybe with Fuji's you have to, but they came out with their web software probably about eight or nine months ago. And I can't believe you have to also have a capture card. Because the Canon one, you can just do a clean out with the Canon uh, HDMI. When I'm recording, then I can do the uh, USB out of the camera into OBS, and it recognizes it'll it'll see the the OBS. The OBS will see the Canon, but it won't see the Fuji, and vice versa on the Zoom, I go to click Zoom and, well, I also have a, a Logitech Brio 4K, but the quality on that's not as good, obviously, as it is with a, with a full-frame camera or a crop camera, like in the Fuji situation. But the problem that I'm having is it will see the Fuji, and it's a black screen, and it'll say Fuji XS, but I can't get the, the camera to, uh, well, I can't get the uh, Zoom program to open up and, and, and view it from the camera. So I'm kind of stuck there. And then I tried using Zoom on my MS-DOS machine, and the problem that I'm having, it'll recognize it, but for some reason doesn't recognize my mic. I can't get any audio with it. So I've used a couple of different mics, so maybe I can play around with that, but for some reason I, I can't use the mic. It won't recognize it, I don't know why. And, um, the OBS I've only tried on the Mac, because I want to use it on the Mac. I don't want to use it on my Windows machine. But the problem I'm having is I can't get the thing to, 
to uh, work on Zoom in OBS, everybody says OBS is easy, and it probably is, but being a senior citizen, and I have PTSD. I'm 100% uh, with PTSD. I'm not using that as an excuse, but you'd be surprised at PTSD, how sometimes that really interferes with just normal everyday thinking. Sometimes simple tasks become complex for some reason. So OBS, I'm still having problems with. I got, at least I got the, the uh, camera to work, which is the Canon, and the microphone, as you can see in the back there, right back over here. I should use this hand. Right back here, here's my mic, and then my two speakers here and here. So with OBS, I got it coming out of those two speakers. Also, the, the towel, that, that's a towel that I have over my TV, over my screen. Because two things, one, the monitor that I'm using is a 43 inch Sony TV. And with the lights that I'm using, then all you see is, because it's, 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 it's a glare, very glare screen. So even with it turned off, all you'll see is the light. So I have to have it covered up. I'm gonna think of some other covering or something uh, in the future to cover that up. But that's part of the setup process. Now you can see the, here I go again. You can see the Canon camera back over here because I use that for OBS. And right now I'm using the Fuji to film here because I can do the Fuji outside, inside and film. I just can't go live. I can't go like uh, YouTube live because it says that you have to have a thousand subscribers. Well, I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. Maybe by the end of next month. I think I have 67. So I got a, I got a ways to go to get <laughs> to get a thousand, so I could go live. But I'm not interested so much in going live. Is what I'm interested also is on the the uh, OBS. Is I want to be able to screen record uh, to record my screen as I'm going through things, showing people how I do this and how I do that, because that's how you learn is from other people also. Uh, so that's what I want to do. I know I'm kind of rambling because this is all kind of new to me right now, so. But basically I'm trying to set up the studio, so I'm needing help with the OBS and the Zoom part because I might have uh, some people like my grandson that I might want to Zoom with, but I can't get any of my cameras to work with it. And I don't want to use my 4K Brio because it's, uh, the quality isn't as good obviously as it is on a full frame or even a crop sensor camera. So if anybody can point me in the right direction, I've, I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos and they, a lot of them tell you how to use the program, but they don't say anything about, well, if you have a problem, what you're supposed to do? When you run into a situation, you know, how do you correct it? But I, I can't, I don't know, I'm getting frustrated because it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, people have been using Zoom for a year and a half. School kids can use Zoom. So I'm a grandpa, so I should be able to use Zoom. So anybody can kind of help me, point me in the right direction. I'll keep doing videos. I mean, I'll keep doing research on YouTube and see if I can come up with, with a situation. If it would recognize a can Canon camera, I'd be fine. I could use it, but for some reason it won't. But yet OBS will. So that means that if there's any drivers or anything on the Mac M1, I have it installed right, or OBS wouldn't even see the camera, wouldn't recognize it. I don't know why Zoom doesn't recognize it. I go to the video part under the uh, preferences section and pull the drop down, and it comes back Fuji and uh, the Brio, the Logitech Brio camera. But the Fuji, I can't get any video on it. I can't it won't open up to restart to record anything. So that's my frustration there. And I don't want to put it on the DOS machine. Um, for some reason, I can't get the, the audio to work. I might try a different mic or something and that might help, so. That was the reason for this video is I'm putting the word out that I need some help setting this stuff up. Um, I don't have anybody, I live in a, uh, uh, a senior citizen area golf on a golf course and everybody's 55 and older and a lot of people from my generation they barely know what a computer is so and I just moved in not too long ago so there's not very many people I can ask so I'm asking 
my, any of my 67 subscribers that I have, if you can kind of help me out. With the zoom part recognizing the Canon camera and on OBS, I think I just have to watch a few more videos to figure out how I could do my screen recording. And I can't do anything live. So then everything else you can see here in the background, I got my camera, my two speakers, my microphone is hooked up. And obviously you're seeing me from doing it this way. So uh, for today's video, this is what this is about, is trying to set up my studio, set up my section here, and just record everything that, that I wanna do and, and share things with everybody. I have PTSD and a high percent disability from the VA. Uh, but we can do videos on what the VA does for people with 100% uh, being, being evaluated as 100% because I've had a lot of stuff done and I am still having stuff done. When you have 100% coverage with the VA, you get free dental, you get free medical, you get free vision. And when I mean free, I don't even pay a copayment. I don't even pay $5 for a copay. And recently, which we'll talk about in the next video, but I've had cataract surgery in the last month. I've had dental work, because I also, besides my PTSD, I also have, uh, for my teeth, I have periodontal disease. So in the last eight years, I've lost 11 teeth so far. So I'm working on getting my mouth, you know, right and everything. And they put a lot of caps on in my teeth. I have the zirconium uh, crowns. I call them caps, but they're crowns. I have zirconium crowns on my teeth. I have seven of them so far, which would, would have cost a lot of money, but the VA is paying for it. The VA is paying for everything. And I, ha I am having dentures put in top and bottom to replace 11 teeth that I've lost. Here again, the VA pays for everything. Even a $45 or $65 uh, cleaning of my teeth every three months, the VA pays for that. Uh, the home I'm in, I bought about a year ago, the VA paid for that. I had no down payment. Uh, I got a pretty good rate on it. I didn't have to come up with a lot of closing costs. We can get into that too as we go along. So the VA is, what I say is the VA works when it works. But because of COVID in the last year and a half, they're really behind. Like my cataract surgery uh, that I had done last month, actually we put the request in in December and I had it done, well, at the beginning of this month, the end of last month. So it took about six months, but I'm established now with them. Uh, I won't need any more, obviously, cataract surgery, but we'll get into all that. We'll, I'll explain all that to us as we go along. But right now, the, the, the point of this video was to introduce myself and ask for a little help on setting everything up. I'm doing pretty good by myself. Uh, plus, I live by myself, so I don't really have anybody to ask. Uh, I have a brother. Uh, he's, he's getting into video. He, he helps me out sometimes. He's doing real good. Uh, but basically, YouTube helps a lot. I can find a lot of stuff how to do on YouTube. Uh, but that's the big thing is I want to do Zoom and the OBS. And the rest of it is just learning how to do everything and practicing and working with it. So I don't want to be rambling too much. But the point of this video was asking for help, kind of pointing me in the right direction. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to try to do a couple of videos, three or four videos a week since I'm retired. There's not much that I have going on right now, and this is a good way for me to get my story out there. Um, I do travel a lot. I probably interject some of my travel videos in some of these new videos that I'll be making as we go along. Right now is not the time to go traveling the world. It'll probably be another couple of years before I can get back out there and travel, but I might show you some. They're all on my channel anyway of where I went, but I might incorporate some of those in future videos. So for right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. I'm still working on the background. I might need some lights back there in the back. Um, I have an overhead light and I have another light that lights up back there, but it seems like it, because it only lights up this one little section. So I don't know if that does anything 
for my video or not. Um, but I want to put some, some color lights and stuff in the back. Maybe that'll kind of jazz it up a little bit. Let me turn this off. Maybe that'll jazz it up a little bit. So uh, just let you know that's, that's it for today's video. Here again, I'm rambling, so I got to make sure that I write a script or something and get myself cut down to where it should be. So but that's all for today. And I'll have another, another video up in a couple of days, and maybe we'll talk about the PTSD. Uh, if you guys want to know anything about PTSD, hit me up on the, put, put it in the comments down below. Um, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. I'm not, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I think I know more than the average bear because I've gone through, the VA helped me with everything in the last two years. I even lived in a, in a uh, VA home for veterans up in Lancaster, California. I was there for six years. So if anybody needs any information or help with VA, let me know. So that's it for this video. I hope everybody's healthy and well. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.